So I'm going to ask you, what, what routing protocol do you use in your environment? Now, you may not know the answer to that if you're learning this course and you haven't gotten an opportunity to work with live routers in your own environment, which is not a problem. But if you were to answer, I bet I can guess what you're running. <laughs> and I'm not a mentalist. I'm going to guess that you are running either OSPF or EIGRP. One of these two, OSPF or EIGRP. They're super common. And they would account for the vast majority of routing solutions that are out there. A few networks out there might be running RIPv2. Not my favorite for an enterprise environment because it lacks the scalability. And this course is all about routing scalability, how to build a really large routing domain. Now, you might have also said, I'm running BGP. But I want you to see something. We don't run BGP on the inside of our network typically. I'm going to say typically because you can do so many different things with border gateway protocol. Now, let's spell out these routing protocol acronyms, by the way. You might have been thinking, wow, this is the first time I've heard OSPF in a while. So let me remind you, open shortest path first. Open, meaning it's an open standard. Shortest path first, meaning it's running shortest path first algorithm, which is Dijkstra's shortest path first algorithm. EIGRP, Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. We are not going to talk to you about IGRP, which was the older previous generation of this protocol that really wasn't widely implemented ever. This is a hybrid routing protocol that runs the dual algorithm, the diffusing update algorithm. So you see those both run inside of our infrastructure. Whereas we have connectivity to the internet. And if you can get by with static routing, please do so. But in many cases, you need border gateway protocol to manipulate policy. And then for WAN connectivity, certainly OSPF and EIGRP would be our primary choices. If you really had to go with a very, very conservative routing protocol, RIP v2 is very conservative. It's not fast, but a lot of vendors run it. And so if some of these were not Cisco routers out there, well, maybe you might have to run something like RIP v2, Routing Information Protocol v2, to be a classless routing protocol. And all of these routing protocols are going to be classless in our own implementation.